Hey guys, I'm back today with um, my slash 4x4 um, desert truck project. Um, now today this isn't going to be a update video as such. <coughs> um, this is going to be more of a product overview video. Um, basically, a couple of updates ago on the slash 4x4 I said that I wanted to change the old VXL system out in it as it was a uh, three-year-old system I believe. Now I did sell it on um, at a very heavily discounted price before anyone says I sold on a Delgy system. It was heavily discounted I sold it off for. But um, basically um, I changed the system out and I wanted to show off what I've got. So the first off the motor, let's start off with that. I bought the Hobbywing Quick Run 3656 four pole, four pole brushless motor as you can see there and it's 3800 kV rating. Now. Um, this is a uh, very capable uh, motor, motor being four pole, um, which means plenty of torque, um, and uh, so far it seems to be giving pretty decent performance for the price. Now, um, where I live in the UK, uh, <coughs> I had to order this overseas when I actually did buy this. So I spent overall £30 including postage and packaging to get it from Hong Kong I believe to England. So not too bad um, considering. Now, <coughs> sorry guys, as for the ESC. Now that, um, this quick run motor, sorry, uh, this quick run motor does come with a, uh, has a option available to come in a combo which includes um, the Hobbywing Quick Run 60 amp ESC. Now, not that the 60 amp isn't enough for this truck, I just wanted a ESC that could give me more options down the line if I wanted to put in a more powerful motor. So, the ESC I went for, um, also a very well known uh, ESC, is the Hobbywing Easy Run SC8, which is of course 120 amp capable. Um, as you can see, it's suitable for 110 to 18 scale cars, and um, this ESC is um, being put into quite a lot of ready to runs these days that are particularly ape scale, um, which just goes to show you how um, capable this ESC actually is. Um, just quick show you around the box, as you can see there. Um, so, this one I actually got from Model Sport UK, the motor I got from Hong Kong, as I said. Um, links and stuff will be in the description down below. I do believe Model Sport is actually going to start stocking this motor very soon. So, both of these from Model Sport, um, you get great customer service from there, and of course, two very capable products. Um, so, I, yeah, of course, I did go with Hobbywing. I didn't do an unboxing video of either of these items because there's nothing, you, there's nothing to show you really. The motor's in there in a plastic box, as I will show you. It's just in there, it just goes in there, that's all there is. And the ESC just came in a sort of plastic sort of casing. In there at the moment, I've got my programming card just so I know where it is, but it doesn't, there was nothing really to show you as an unboxing. So that's the motor and ESC I've gone for. So now let's actually pop open the shell and I'll show you how I've actually put it in. And there you go guys, that's the slash 4x4. Um, <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, so let's start from front and work our way back. So right out of front, uh, for steering duties, I've gone with the Turnergy 1258TG servo. Now I've said this um, in a couple of videos now, but I've got this servo of course in here now. And I've also got it in my Armour Typhon which is an 8 scale buggy and also got it in the Thunder Tiger ST1 Truggy, full 8 scale Truggy. So it's a very capable servo, um, very impressed with it for the price you pay. Um, I think I paid £23 from Hobby King from UK Warehouse, that's including shipping, so it's a very good budget servo. Um, but it doesn't really feel budget, um, it's got a full aluminium casing to help this heat, heat uh, dissipation. Um, it's very talky, very fast as well. Uh, as for radio system, I've got the radio system out of my armor Typhoon, which is like a rebranded uh, Flysky. Um, of course, here is the SC8. Um, it also comes with the built-in fan, if I didn't mention that. Uh, um, I got, as, as I said, I got this from Model Sports. So I got them to pre-solder some Deans on, as well as four millimeter bullet connectors. 
Um, the motor does come with 4mm bullet connectors already pre-installed uh, and just plug and play really. Um, just bring it up to see so I can just show you how I wired everything up. As you can see there. So, um, this part here, these the wires that come out of this motor are a little bit if uh, not iffy, a little bit hard to harder to work with than normal wires because they're not like these wires that come off the ESC. They're kind of braided, as you can so kind of see, um, and they cut, they are a little bit difficult to sort of bend and um, sort of shape. But it, I got it to work. Um, gearing in here at the moment is 18 on pinion and 50 on the spur. Um, I am going to change the spur out though to a. 50, uh, 54 tube spur, sorry, um, as it's coming up to summer and I want it to sort of um, not overheat. Um, but so far, the ESC is solid, the motor is, is performing brilliantly. Servo, I've tried and tested in multiple cars, seems to work perfectly fine. Um, just to show you how fast this um, servo is and show you all working, here's the radio system, so just flip that on. Um, plug in the battery. If I don't mention I'm using a 2S um, battery for this setup because I just think it's um, more than enough. Turn it on. Now that, that buzzer noise does come from digital servos in general. It's not something that's just found on this servo. It, it, nearly every digital servo has this. But as you can tell it's on. So as you can see it's pretty it's very responsive. Um, um, so that just quick show of it um, working and, and also show off the servo's um, specs and performance uh, and it's, uh, I'm very happy with how the truck is set up at the moment. So <laughs> I have a couple more things coming but as I said this is not an update video, this is a just product overview of the electronics I've got for the truck. Um, as I said, links and stuff will be in the description down below if you'd like to check it out. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, so I hope um, you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button down below. If you're new around here and you like the videos on my channel, please do subscribe for more weekly content and also to add to the community I've grown. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to help you guys out. And that's pretty much it guys for this video, so thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.